everyone! Today's video is going to be a really exciting one because it's the start of another Project Pan. I haven't started a Project Pan in quite a while, so I'm really excited to start this one. And this one is actually a collab, and it's my first ever Project Pan collab. Um, if you watch most of my videos, they're usually flipped the opposite way. And you'll know behind me, I actually have a bunch of pictures of the Beatles. I have like a poster, I have like um, one of a Paul McCartney concert I went to. I just have a bunch of stuff um, right on this wall. I can actually maybe without making it too big of a mess, show y'all that wall. So yeah, so we're in my office, uh, which is where I film, and that's that's in my office. So I really love the Beatles, and I talk about them kind of a lot. I don't, I, I don't know. It, it seems to be relevant. So um, Jessica Payne here on YouTube, who I love, uh, she does a lot of book, book, book videos, and um, she does like Project Pan videos as well, and she contacted me and she's like, girl, you love the Beatles, I love the Be Beatles, Let's do a project paint about it. And I thought that was a great idea. Um, I've loved the Beatles pretty much my whole life. It's like my dad's favorite band. So I grew up listening to them. And when I graduated from high school, my dad actually took me to the UK. And we went to like Liverpool. And we, we went we like walked down the Abbey Road. We saw Strawberry Fields. We did it all. Um, so that was really cool to me. So it's just like something that's really like, hello hippo, <laughs> ingrained into my family. So um, I wanted to do this. I thought that was a great idea. Also, real quick, um, because somebody very recently said they didn't, they didn't know who Kanga was. Like, you know, my channel's called Becky Loves Kanga, and they're like, what, what is a Kanga? So, I have a little uh, partner in today's video, and this is her. Her name is Kanga. She is nine and a half years old. She's a long-haired miniature dachshund. She's <coughs> hippocampus. <coughs> He's, uh, she's the love of my life. What are you barking at? I think she, he's barking at John. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so there's Kanga, and I'm really excited to film this video. So I actually have the USA Today did a video where they were ranking all the Beatles songs, and I don't necessarily agree. He's in there. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with their ranking, but it was one of the only like numerical lists we could find. So I'm going to use that, and so we have 1 to 188. And so um, my computer's, computer's right there. Uh, and we have 1 to 188 on random.org. So we're going to generate a number, 134. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So we're, today's video, I had to film this video twice because Hippo came in and peed on my computer. And that was a lot of fun. Um, but today is John, no, George Harrison's birthday. So that's why we started today, February 25th. We're going to do updates. And we're going to end it on June 18th, which is Paul McCartney's birthday, which is really fun. Um... I think I've told Jessica this, but just in case, I might be a little late on my final update because June 18th is very close to Father's Day, and June 18th is also my actual dad's birthday, so I might be with him instead of filming, but I don't know. I can maybe probably post it. We'll just see. But anyway, so, uh, and we're going to pick eight items because of eight days a week, but like I said, I have 134, and that is the, that's the song One After 909. I think that's on the White Album. I don't know that song, uh, which is kind of surprising, because um, I know most of them. That might not, I, I really don't know that song. That's kind of embarrassing. So how am I going to pick a one after 909, which would be 910? Uh, that's not, because they have Revolution Number 9, and then they have another one, but it's not that. I don't know that song. That's kind of embarrassing. So maybe it's a product that I don't really know very well. So I know what I'll do. I'll do one of these cream blushes so these are from my Mally uh, frozen collection that I just got um, and there are two cream blushes I think I want this pink one uh, but I haven't really used them that much and I don't have a cream blush that I'm panning right now so that works so this is from the Mally frozen and uh, Elsa collection and this is the shade feisty blush so oh let's see how much I've got in here I've got that much. I feel like that's doable in a, in in uh, four months. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to use up that entire blush. Obviously, I'll mark all of these items after uh, today's video. But since I'm picking them out, I didn't mark them yet. So that's our first item. So let's generate another number. And for me, I think Jessica said hers is gonna be two, but mine's gonna be a rolling project pan. So every update, if I finish something up, I'll roll something else new in. 157 is my next number, so let's scroll up and see what is 157. Honey Pie. So that is for sure on the White Album. 
like, hey, honey pie. And it's like kind of like crazy. So, honey is yellow. I think, well, oh, I don't, I can't use this up though. Like, I would like, I'm kind of thinking I would like to do Gilded Honey by Laura Geller, but I can't finish that up in a month, I mean, in four months. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe, okay, so instead of that, I'm gonna do this guy. This is the Tarte Tartus Mascara. And like it's kind of yellow and like blotched up here, kind of like honey. So I know that's kind of not as good as Gilded Honey, but I do want to completely use up everything I put in here. And there's no way I could finish the highlighter in four months. So I'm gonna put this guy in here. So that's my second item. Let's change. So 122 is the next number. And for that, it's I've just seen a face. I love that song. It's like I just seen a face, I can't forget the time or place where we just met. She's just the girl from me and I want all the world to see we've met. And that is um, also in Across the Universe. And that's like one of my favorite songs in that movie because they're like in a bowling alley. And if you don't know, Across the Universe is a great movie. Um, so, I just seen a face. What are we going to do for that? A face product does make sense to me. Um, so maybe I'll do a concealer. Yeah, because it's a face. That makes sense, right? Um, I'm actually going to use this guy. This is the Trustique Mini Concealer Crayon. I don't say crayon. I say crown, but whatever. Um, so I've got that much left. Uh, again, I'll mark all of these, but I think I could finish that up in four months. So that's my third item for uh, I've Just Seen a Face. And then we're going to generate a new one, number 12. Okay, Kenga, you're... Kanga is uh, really helping. She's trying to sit on my computer. So, oh wait, I, I scrolled too far. For number 12, it's Eleanor Rigby. Fun fact, I want to name my son after that song because I think Rigby is a cool name. So Eleanor Rigby is about somebody that's all alone. Uh, it's a great, great song. Um, wearing the face that she keeps in the jar by the door. I don't know what to do for Eleanor Rigby. Um, I really like it, so maybe a product I really like. I mean, that seems like kind of a cop out, though, right? Um, hmm, Eleanor Rigby. Maybe, and, okay. So, growing up, I remember hearing that song, obviously, and I was really, like, confused about the line, like, just saying, like, wearing a face that she keeps in the jar by the door, who is it for? And so my dad was like, because I was like, Daddy, I don't, why does she have a face in a jar? And he was like, you know, that's like, the face that when like people come in you like always look happy even if you're not um and so like this is kind of like looks like a jar so this is the ultra brow gel i don't know that might be a stretch but that's what i'm gonna do so uh that's my fourth item and oh 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 okay everything just fell down oops oh well all right so generate 103 is the next one. Oh, and i i don't know if this will happen i seriously doubt it i, I really like this because as you scroll through all these songs, there's lots of pictures of the Beatles. And they're just so cute. Um, but if I end up getting the same number, I'll just pick another item for that same song. Instead of like just re-rolling. If that makes sense. So for this one, I got Mean Mr. Mustard. Um, which is not a very well-known song. But it's like, Mean Mr. Mustard going something. I don't know it that well. But I do know that song. Um, it's I believe it's on the Yellow Submarine. I believe and like because they have a picture of them on that album or like in the like one of their music videos so me and mr. mustard is actually like a greeny blue kind of tealy shade so I don't know why he's called me mr. mustard but there you go so we could do something yellow obviously um I don't know something that smells maybe hmm. let's just think uh like I said, it is on the Yellow Submarine album. I already have a product. I'm trying really hard not to pick things that I'm already panning because of, because I definitely get into trouble doing that. So that's making it harder. Can you, can you move your big old booty, please? I'm looking at my lip product drawer. I don't think y'all can see the lip products. Okay, I'm gonna pull something out of here. I'm gonna pull, this is like this little thing I got when John and I were in Canada. This is like the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects little sample card. 
Um, but they're these like pretty lip glosses. They're like lip toppers. So maybe this ritual shade, since it's kind of greeny blue, like what he is, and like you know, if you've seen the yellow, the um, the yellow submarine album, it's all like different colors and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna pull that, and we'll see what happens. Um, so that's my fifth item. We're gonna do in the okay. 113 is the next one, and that is the word. Oh, say the word, and you'll be free. Okay, so that is, the word is love. So fine, sunshine, it's the word love. Kaya doesn't appreciate my singing very much. Um, so what are we going to do for the word? Um, maybe something that has like a lot of like writing on the packaging. Mm -hmm, maybe. So I do, I am currently, I, I don't have a highlighter in this one. Maybe I could choose a highlighter. Um, or something that I love because again, that's, that's the word. The word is love. Um, or I don't have like a cream bronzer. Hmm. What am I going to choose for the word love? I am painting a blush right now, so I don't want to do a powder blush and I've already got a cream blush in here. So something that I love, that just makes sense to me. So I kind of want to play in a glitter. But I feel like that would be really hard, honestly. But I think I'm going to go for one of these glitters. I'm going to go for this one. This is Smoky Storm. Because Smoky Storm and Smoldering Satin look almost the same. Let me see where Smoldering Satin. I have them all. Or not all of them. I wish I had them all. Here we are. Smoldering Like, I did a whole video uh, swatching these and they look almost the same. So which one... I think I'm gonna go for yes, yeah, Smoky Storm. I'm gonna try to use that up. I don't know if I could do that. I don't wear really, I mean, I do wear glitter a lot. So there we go. We're gonna try to paint a glitter. So the next thing is 169. So we're gonna go up to 169. And that one is not a second time. Not a second time. I don't know that one. That's way. I mean, like I said, I know most of them, but that one I've never heard. I've never even heard of. So maybe. I could just, um, I could do like the second, like the Lorac Pro 2 or something like that, even though I really, I'm trying to stay away from eyeshadows because I do have a pan that palette. So let's look in the Lorac Pro 2 because it's the second one. That makes sense. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, this, I feel like, I mean, maybe that's green shade or the black, I mean. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of similar to my pan that palette, so I don't want to encroach too much on that obviously um hmm. so maybe i'll do something okay so i'm gonna do this because there's two things in here that makes sense kind of right and i think i'm gonna actually try to use up this highlighter a lot of people have done that this is the pixie beauty blush duo in the shade rose gold a lot of people have used up this highlighter it's like a really pretty goldy shade um, I think it'd be pretty for the summer and yeah, so I don't know if I can use the whole thing up, but we're gonna try So there's that that's the sixth item right one two three. No, that's the seventh So our last item that we're gonna have for the eight days a week project pan is number seven And what is the seventh song? Tomorrow never knows so uh that was just talking about like like you don't really know what's gonna happen tomorrow that's a really good song too it's a little more deep which a lot of people like the deeper Beatles songs like i'm a big fan of like the first album like please please me where it's just kind of like bumpy but i also like like the white album and stuff i can't remember tomorrow never knows might be on rubber soul but i i could be wrong on that but um so maybe something okay i'm gonna choose this guy because this is something that i feel like I never really know what to do with. I mean, I do, but like, I don't know. I don't really understand the point of them, I guess is kind of what I'm saying. Um, and this is the cream bronzer. I, I have cream cheek products, but I, I just don't love them. So I'm going to put in this guy. This is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I've got that much left. It's a little orange, but I think it'll be good, especially as I get like a little bit darker because it is like 90 degrees here in Savannah already. So there we go. Those are my eight items. Like I said, please check out Jessica. Pain, her uh, video will be down below, or her uh, channel will be. 
Um, I don't think she's posted her video yet. She was going to say she was going to post it this morning. Um, but I don't think she has yet. So, yeah. I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, as always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments. I'm also excited because none of these I've, like, I haven't, well, no. Besides this guy, I haven't really reviewed any of them or talked that much about them. So, it's kind of fun. It's going to be kind of like discovering some new items. And, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.